I've been using Unity for over 10 years now, and throughout that time, I've bought hundreds of tools from the asset store to improve my productivity and make life a little bit easier. If you do a quick search on the asset store, though, you'll see that there are over 10,000 tools available. There's a lot to dig through. So today, I wanna give you my one in a thousand or my top 10 tools that have been really handy for my own projects and probably will for yours as well. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Unity, and if you're watching in May, a lot of these assets are probably in the spring sale. The spring sale has hundreds of assets at 50% off and a lot of them are tools. And then they've got the flash deals with 70% off. Make sure you check it out and use the affiliate links in the description below to find all of these assets and more. By the way, please let me know what kind of projects you're building in the comments down below. And if there are any assets that I don't cover that are awesome tools, please drop a comment and let me know so I can check those out later. Let's start by breaking things. The first asset is Rayfire, which is an advanced destruction plugin that lets you infinitely fracture demolish and slice 3d objects this works both at runtime or you can pre-fracture things in the editor like we did with mighty monster mayhem and set up your buildings so that they can be destroyed by ripping out chunks or throwing things at them this is an extremely powerful pack if you want to do a destructible world or destructible objects i highly recommend you go grab this thing try it out and just see how awesome it is speaking of awesome the next asset really blew me away when i first discovered it which was way back when i started using unity and i've been using it ever sense and that's final ik this is an inverse kinematics library for unity that allows you to define points or places that you want pieces of your body to go to like your hand your feet or anything else and then have the system automatically figure out the animation and movement to make that happen if you want to do anything that looks super realistic in your game you want to have your animations kind of match up so that your hand goes on to the doorknob or your character walks nice and smoothly up those stairs final ik is the easiest way to do it it's something i've been using since the start and i really really love along with final ik though we've got item number three which is Puppet Master. If you want to do ragdoll physics with your character, perhaps you want him to run around, act all normal, but then go flying off into the air, then Puppet Master is exactly the tool that you need. You can build ragdolls in Unity with the built-in system, but Puppet Master makes this much more powerful and a whole lot easier to work with. It's built by Root Motion, who also built that final AK asset, and a lot of the time I find that I'm using these two together and they work great. The next asset is one I've talked about a lot, and it's one that I think every Unity developer should have. In fact, I think it should probably eventually just be part of Unity, and that's Odin Inspector and Serializer. It adds a whole lot to the editor to make it easier for you to build custom inspectors, everything from the simple button attribute to call a method to building out full-on RPG and item inventory editors. You can do a whole lot with Odin with very little work. Most of it is all automatic or as simple as adding a single attribute. Now, Odin Inspector is an amazing tool, and I, again, highly recommend that everybody use it, but they've also released the Odin Validator, and I've been using that one a lot lately. It's a newer tool, but it's something that I'm starting to really fall in love with and would also recommend that you try out and pull into your project. You find that a lot of the time it's finding issues that I would have never even thought to look for and it finds them instantly without me having to do any extra work. I really like Odin Validator and I think it's a nice great add-on but even if you don't get the Validator at the very least grab Odin Inspector you'll really see what you've been missing out on and you'll probably want to grab the Validator afterwards. One of the other tools I've been using since the beginning with Unity is the A-Star Pathfinding Project. This is an extremely powerful nav mesh or navigation system that's slightly different from the built-in Unity one. I found this thing to be extremely lightweight and very, very fast at doing lots of calculations. And they say that it's great for tower defense, FPS, and RTS games. But in general, I find that it's great for anything that's got that kind of a nice flat XY world where you're moving characters around. But they also have really cool support for things like climbing, jumping, and it just keep, seems to keep getting better and better. It's an easy to work with system and everybody that I know that works in Unity loves this thing. So if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely try it out and see if it's going to work to make your pathfinding a little bit better, especially if you've got anything that's not just a default nav mesh or you're running into any problems with the built-in systems. Next up is Volumetric Fog and Mist 2 from Connect. If you're not using the high definition render pipeline and you want Volumetric Fog, this is the way to go. This tool is used in a lot of games and I've seen it used for a variety of things, including basic fog, but also things like sandstorms, cold effects and hot effects, or even poison gas clouds. 
Now, speaking of HDRP, there are two assets that I find extremely helpful that are maybe a little bit smaller, but helpful if you're switching pipelines. And that's the HDRP to URP downgrader and the HDRP to built-in downgrader. I was looking for an easy way to go back out of HDRP after experimenting a little bit without reverting everything in source control and found that this was a very easy tool to use to make that happen. So if you're looking at switching out of HDRP, either to URP or to built in, or you want to kind of be able to jump around, I'd recommend grabbing these assets. They're nice and cheap and they get the job done very easily. Now, I probably can't say the word easy in a Unity context without also bringing up the easy save tool. If you haven't seen this before, well, you're probably not using Unity. You've probably actually used this before or at least know somebody who has. In fact, if you have thoughts on easy save, drop a comment down below. This is one of the systems that's been in a lot of projects that I've used, but I've never added it to one from scratch. And that's actually my plan going forward. I have a new project that I'm going to put Easy Save right into at the beginning and make it so that I don't have to build out a save and load system myself. I've done it enough times and I don't really need to. Everybody that I know loves this thing. And in my experience in the projects that I've used it in, it has been great as well. So Again, if you got thoughts on Easy Save, please drop a comment down below. This is the only one that I'm only 95% sure on instead of 100. Let's go on to another one that I really love, which is Dungeon Architect. If you want to build a game that has a sprawling dungeon or a generated dungeon, Dungeon Architect is the way to go. It makes it extremely easy so that you don't have to build out an entire generation system. You can put objects into the different rooms, have the rooms spawn exactly how you want with the rules that you've defined, and then regenerate as quick as you want. I love these kinds of tools that make it so that I can level build without having to be good at level building, where I can just hit a button a bunch of times until I get something great. And while I'm at it, I don't want to explode my list and make it too big, but if you're generating something outdoors, Gaia is great for that. It's an awesome tool for generating big outdoor worlds. Personally, I find that I'm usually generating dungeons more often, but a lot of people build these outdoor worlds, and I want to make sure that you know that there are options available there as well. I want to go on to my last tool, and this is one that I think everybody can use no matter what kind of project, well, almost no matter what kind of project you're using, because almost every game has some sort of text, and you can bring that to live with the text animator for Unity. It's an extremely cheap tool that allows you to make really neat looking kind of advanced text with almost no work. You've just got to import the package, add the component, and start putting in the tags to do all kinds of cool effects like the pendulum, the fade, the shake, the wiggle, the swinging, or even a rainbow. There's lots of really cool stuff that you can do to make your text kind of come alive with just a couple tags. It's extremely cool. About every game needs some text. Speaking of text, please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this list and if you've got anything else and tap that thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next one.